Hare Krishna. Welcome again to our evening kata. We hope you all are safe and increasing your Krishna consciousness. We're here to serve you by chanting Lord Krishna's glories. And today we're going to go back to Gokul for the main Leela of Gokul, Krishna's appearance. Uh, you may think we should go to Mathura, but actually from Gopal Champu and Ananda Vrindavan Champu, we get a lot of information from Jiva Goswami and uh, Kavi Karnapura that Krishna appeared in Gokul. And today our kirtan is at the end, so we won't start with our usual kirtan today. The kirtan will be at the very end. So let's go to Gokul. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militam Jena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama Sri Chaitanya Manubhistam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Sayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Svapadandhikam Aradana Stranandan Daibhidam Yachay Puna Puna Sri Madhurupa Padambhujo Dhulisyam Janma Janmani Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nithananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shivasari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Panchakalpa Drubhyastra Kripa Sindhu Bebhacha Patitanam Bhavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Nama So today we're sitting in Gokul. There's a very beautiful palace on top of the hill called Churasi Kamba. 84 pillars, which is a replica of Nanda Baba's original palace here in Gokul. And they tell, the pandas say, you'll never be able to count 84. You'll, if you try to count, you'll get 85, you'll get 86, you'll get 82, 83, but you can never count 84. So this is where Krishna appeared. And we're going to speak about that today. First we'll go to Mathura. In Mathura there was a great Kshatriya named Deva Mida. And Devamita, he had two wives. One was a Kshatri, which is natural. Another was a Vaishya, which is also permitted, because we can marry down, we can't marry up. Mm -hmm. From the Kshatri wife, he got a son named Surasen, and Surasen's son was Vasudev. From his Vaishya wife, uh, he got a son named Parjanya Maharaj. Mm -hmm. And because Parjanya Maharaj was born from the Vaishya wife, then Jiva Goswami explains, he became king of the cowherds. So he made his capital on the opposite side of the Jamuna in Gokul. Gokul means the place where there's many, many cows. Hmm. And he was just like his name. Parjanya Maharaj means cloud. So the duty of the government to collect taxes from the citizens, the way the sun evaporates water from the ocean, from the rivers, from the lakes, uh, and, and forms clouds. And then the clouds rain that water back for the benefit of the land, the people, and the animals. Same way Parjanya Maharaj collected taxes from the people, and he rained back in so many welfare activities for the citizens. Mm -hmm. And Parjanya Maharaj, he had uh, five sons, Upananda, Abhinanda, Nanda, Sunanda, and Nandan. We see Nanda Maharaj is in the middle. Mm -hmm. After some time, when he became quite elderly, then he turned over the kingdom to his eldest son, Upananda. But after some time, Upananda, he called a meeting of all the coward men. In that meeting, he began to describe the glories of Nanda Maharaj. In fact, it appeared he had five mouths as he described the glories of Nanda Maharaj. 
Nanda Maharaj was embarrassed. He put his head down hearing himself glorified. And then he presented his proposal that actually Nanda Maharaj is more qualified than me. He should become the king because after all, I'm Upananda. Upananda means the follower of Nanda. So he should become the next king. Hearing this proposal, the Brishbasis unanimously passed this resolution and everyone was very happy that now Nanda Maharaj became the king. Our GBC, if they could pass a resolution that everybody was happy with, they would also be very happy. But this is Braj. Magic things can happen like this in Braj. Hmm? Uh, so Nanda Maharaj became the king. Meanwhile, in a nearby village, there was a gopa named Sumuka. And Sumuka, he had a very, very lovely daughter named Yashoda. Hmm? You know the meaning of Yashoda? Yash means fame. Huh? Yashoda, Yash Deniwala, who gives fame. Hmm? You see, all the original Brishbasis, they all have nice names. Huh? Uh, Yashoda, Kirtida, just like we do Kirtan. Kirtida means who gives glory. Kirtan means to chant the glory. So Kirtida. Brisavanu's mother's name is Sukhat, who gives pleasure, who gives happiness. All the original Brishbasis are all givers. Abhyasav Deniwala Chalage, only Leniwala Re. Now all the givers have gone away, only takers are left. Uh, so, uh, Sumukha had a very wonderful daughter, so they arranged the wedding of Nanda and Yasoda with great pomp and ceremony. Beautiful wedding took place, and everybody was very happy under the reign of Nanda and Yasoda. Nobody had any problem whatsoever. They were all very happy. Only one unhappiness was beating on the hearts of all of the Brishbasis. Nanda and Yasoda had no child. Hmm? Sometimes his citizens would suggest to him, you perform this Devi Devata Puja, you do this Vrat, you follow this bow. Uh, but Nanda Maharaj, he only had faith in his Shalagram Maharaj. If Lord Vishnu desires, I'll get son, otherwise not. Hmm? But to keep his citizens happy, he would follow their Devi Devata vrat, v v Pujas, he would form their Vrats, he would follow their vows. But still no child came. In fact, many years passed. Radha Krishna Ganudesha Dipika describes that Nanda Baba had a salt and pepper beard. Salt and pepper means there's white hairs is coming. Not in his youth he got son, only in his old age. Even Mother Yasoda, so many white hairs is also coming. Mm -hmm. But no son was coming. One day, one very strange old lady appeared in Braj uh, with long white choti braid and wearing saffron like a sadvi. And she had two children with her, or obviously her grandchildren. Now the Brishbasis, they have too much faith on sadhus and sadvis. So they immediately came and bowed down before her and asked, from where do you come? Who are you? And what is it that you desire? Hmm. So she said, I'm coming from Avantipur, Ujjain. Hmm. And I'm the mother of Sandipani Muni, and these are my two grandchildren, uh, Nandimuki and Madhumangal. And I'm very famous Jyotish. You know Jyotish, who studies the Jyoti, the light of the heavenly bodies, uh, astrologer. And I have studied that very soon Nanda and Yasoda will get a son. Hmm? What did she say? Nanda and Yasoda will get a son. You thought they got a daughter. But if you see the 10th canto and the 5th chapter and the 1st verse and the purport, Prabhupada explains that Jiva Goswami and Viswanath Chakravarti Thakur, using various pramans, have proven that Nanda, that Nanda and Yasoda had twins. Krishna is the son of Ananda Maharaj and Yasoda who appeared in Mathura, that is Basudev, Lord Vishnu. Hmm? But Krishna can never appear outside of Braj. Hmm? And now we're going to hear about that. 
So then she said, so I want to see that event. So you please make a little kutir on the bank of the Jamuna so that I can be present for this auspicious occasion. So immediately they built a little thatched roof hut, little parn kuti for uh, Purnamasi and Madhumangal and Nandimukhi. One time when Nanda and Yasoda were alone, Purnamasi approached them and she said, actually, if you want to get a son, you will have to follow all the akadasis for one full year. Very carefully. If it's a contaminated akadasi, you follow on the dvadasi. If it's mahadvadasi, you follow on the dvadasi. Very carefully, you follow the akadasi vrat for one full year. Now you're going to see the power of akadasi. If there's anybody here who's not following it, you can learn from the devotees in your local temple after lockdown is over. Huh? You can go to the temple and learn from the devotees. You don't have to fast completely just from beans and grains and chant extra and read extra. Not difficult, but very powerful. We're going to see what happens. Huh? Because Brishvasi, especially the Gopas, they're simple coward people. They don't necessarily follow a Kadasi. If you come on Brajmandal Prikama walking with Lokana Swami Maharaj, and then you'll see a Kadasi day, the Brishvasi there making the rotis. Hmm? So he said, you follow for one full year very carefully. So Nanda and Yasoda, they began to follow the Ikadasi Vrat twice a month, the eleventh day of the waning and waxing moon. Hmm? And during that month, many strange things happen. Hmm? Nanda Maharaj, he would come home from herding the cows and come into the palace and he would sit down and he would turn on the TV. No, that's what you guys do. When Nanda would come home, he would sit down and read the scripture. Before we invented this ek ankwali asura, this one-eyed asura, then we used to study the scripture and try to understand the purpose of life. Now they've discovered this ek ankwali asura and you can just watch the silliest things and lose the perfection of life. Hmm? So he would sit down, especially he would read Ramayan. Because for the Brishvazis, uh, Krishna is our Hamara Lalahe. He's our little son. Uh, Ram to Bhagwani. Ram is Bhagwan. If you go in the village, everybody will come. Ram Ram Ji. Uh, Ram Ram Bhai. Uh, Ram to Bhagwani. Hamara, Krishna Hamara Lalahe. Uh. And while he was reading, he would see Mother Yasoda in the kitchen cooking the dal and roti. Dal roti kao, Radha Krishna guna gao. And he would see sitting in her lap this beautiful blackish boy with lotus petal eyes, curly black hair, peacock feather in his crown. And then the Maharaj would look and nothing was there. Yasoda would be cooking <coughs> and she'd see sitting in Nanda Baba's lap this beautiful blackish boy like a sapphire huh? with beautiful lotus petal eyes curly black hair, so soft and sweet. And she would look and nothing was there. Sometimes they would see him darting around the house and they would look and nothing was there. For one full year this went on. Then one day, uh, it was the month of Mag. Mag means December, January, when it's very cold here in Braj. Huh? In fact, it was Mag Purnima. Hmm? So Nanda Baba was sleeping on his bed with his nice warm rajai quilt. Hmm? Mother Yasoda was lying in her bed with her nice warm rajai. Huh? Suddenly Nanda Maharaj got a dream. He saw this beautiful blackish boy, just the color of a blue lotus flower, within his heart, with lotus petal eyes, so sweet and soft, peacock feather in his crown. And as he watched, that boy left his heart and went across the room and established himself in the heart of Mother Yasoda. As soon as he was established in the heart of Mother Yasoda, his dream broke. He sat up in the bed. His whole body was trembling. Tears were coming from his eyes. His hairs were standing on end. His whole body was trembling. Hmm? 
And he looked, he saw Mother Yasoda also had a very surprised look on her face. She also stood up, sat up. Huh? Her whole body was trembling, tears were coming from her eyes. And they're so excited, they tried to talk to one another. And Nanda Baba said, I, 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 I. And Mother Yasoda said, you, 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 you. And Nanda Baba shook his head. He said, yeah, yeah, you, you, you. And Mother Yasoda said, I, I. They can't talk, they're so excited, they're so ecstatic. But they both understood they had the very same dream at the very same time, simultaneously. And from that day, Mother Yasoda began to manifest all the symptoms of being with child. Hmm? And immediately all the old ladies of the village understood. Huh? Because in English we say you can fool some of the people some of the time, all of the people some of the time, but you can't fool mom. Mothers, they always know everything. So all the mothers, they understood Mother Yasoda's with child. Hmm? Just to give example from my personal life, one time, many years ago, I went to L.A. for Rathiyatra, and my daughter came from Alachua to meet me there. So we had a wonderful time at Rathiyatra, and I saw they had a, one stage for the cultural program, another stage for all the youth. So I saw she was having friend, fun with all her friends. Uh, for more than 40 years, they've been putting on this Rathiyatra in Los Angeles, very grand Rathiyatra. So I saw she was having fun with all her friends and I thought she'll make her way back to the temple with all her friends, so I shouldn't bother her. So next day she told me, Pita, I want to go with you to San Francisco Rathiyatra. Because I was going to San Francisco Rathiyatra, that comes next. So I said, yes, we'll have to call your mother. So I called up Pakuti. Now she's 3,000 miles away in Alachua. Huh? And I said, Gopal wants to come with us to uh, Rathiyatra in San Francisco. And she became very agitated and very excited. And she said, you don't know what happened. Those kids spend the night on the beach in Venice Beach. It's so dangerous. Nobody goes there at night. They spend the night. You're there. You don't even know what's going on. Hmm? She's 3,000 miles, 4,500 kilometers away. She knows what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Neither, needless to say, Gopal Nandini couldn't come with us to Rathiyatra in San Francisco. Uh, so all the mothers knew, and the word went by wildfire that Nanda and Soda are going to have a child. Hmm. Gradually, Yasoda began to manifest. She became very, very large. Now in our old days, we used to have a special room in the house or a special house in the compound called the Prasuti Gar, maternity room. So when Mother Yasoda became very big and pregnant, she began to stay in the maternity room with the nurse, uh, with the midwife. Because old days, we didn't have to go to the hospital. Even my daughter was born at home and she's very happy and healthy. Uh, uh, that doctor who delivered her, he's one of the, he was a very nice naturopathic doctor. He was one of these guys you never knew which eye to look at when you talked to him. <laughs> he had a squeaky voice, I delivered 500 babies in my lifetime, 500, only one time we went to the hospital. It's not a disease, it's the most natural thing going on all day long. Hmm? So there was, now I've read so many articles that midwifery is coming back. So the midwife began to stay with Mother Yasoda. Hmm? That reminds me of another story. One time Prabhupada was in Hawaii and after giving the Bhagavatam class, he came outside, he saw two of his lady disciples, very big and pregnant. And Prabhupada smiled at them just like a grandfather at the granddaughter. And Prabhupada said very lovingly, he said, a tree is most beautiful when it is full with fruit. And a woman is most beautiful when she's full with child. And somebody said, and Prabhupada, disciple, when is he most beautiful? Prabhupada said, you do not know? Everyone froze. Prabhupada paused. He said, when a disciple follows the order of his spiritual master, then he's most beautiful. He said, but a tree is most beautiful when it's full with fruit, and a woman is most beautiful when she's full with child. Mm. So gradually it came to the eighth day of the dark half of the month of Bhadra. Mm. Krishna Paksh Astami, Krishna Astami Day. Hmm. So in the evening, 
the midwife, she went off to do some errands, and she felt a little tired. Oh. So she said, I'll take a snap. Something between a sleep and a nap is a snap. But she lay down and she fell fast asleep. Meanwhile, Mother Yasoda was waiting. The nurse never came. She tried to go to sleep. But somehow or other, this night is very restless night. She's on this side, then she's on that side, then she's on this side, she's on the back, then this side, that side, back, this side, that side. She can't sleep. Hmm? Finally, at the midnight, suddenly she realized the child is coming. And she never had child before, and she's not a spring chicken. She's not a young girl. Huh? And she never had baby, and nobody's there. The nurse is not there. No one is there. She's all alone. Anyway, anyhow, she gave birth to a very beautiful baby girl from her womb. Hmm? Uh, and she was so exhausted and no sleep and now the trauma of childbirth, she just fell asleep and she didn't realize from her heart came a beautiful blackish boy. Huh? Twins came. Krishna is the son of Nanda and Yasoda, there's no doubt. Huh? And she just fell asleep. Hmm. Meanwhile, we know there in Kansa's prison, uh, this Basudev appeared before Devaki and Vasudev with his forearms with beautiful golden ornaments and golden crown and golden beautiful yellow dhoti and uh, so many armlets and bracelets and so many things. Now, children don't appear like that, but this is what happened in Kansa's prison cell. Hmm. Then he said, as soon as I become a child, because they said, you hide this form, otherwise Kams will know who you are. Then you take me across the river. So then he became a little child. And then somehow or other, all the shackles opened up automatically. And all the guards were in their constitutional position, fast asleep. Hmm and all the doors opened automatically. Hmm. You thought this automatic door was new thing. Just like one time Radha Govind Maharaj told us he gave the English class one Jamasami for us in the morning. Because Radha Govind Maharaj used to sit in Bihar beside some river and somebody put some bamboo poles and a little cloth and straw mat and he would sit and speak about Srimad Bhagavatam. And very simple. But somebody thought this guy should go to America, so they sent him a ticket and got him to America. Now he never went on an airplane before, he never saw an airport even. He got out with his bags and he saw this big glass door slam shut right in front of him. And he was looking all around, he said, I was looking all around, Where to, where's the button to open this? Suddenly somebody walked in front of that door, the door slid open automatically and I just ran out with my bags. <laughs> So he said, this automatic door is not nothing new. This happened even in Krishna's time. So then it was raining. So Anantashesh appeared and was acting as an umbrella over Nanda and, I mean, Basudev and Basudev. And it says that Nanda, that Basudev carried him in a basket. Because we don't have technical, transcendental technical words in English. Actually, it was a serpi. Serpi is a special inst cheapo instrument, utensil that's kept around, a little whack wicker basket shaped like this. You throw the grain up and the husk blows away and the grain falls back like that. Everybody has one. It's no nothing big deal. Krishna should have gone been carried in a golden basket. But he's carried in a simple serpi. Hmm? And he got to the bank of the Jamuna and we heard this is Bhadra, second month of rainy season. Jamuna was in spate. The current was very heavy. He dipped into the water and the water kept rising and rising. He carried, he held Krishna higher and higher. And then he began to call out, Koi lo, koi lo, koi mida lala le lo, koi lo, koi lo, koi mida lala le lo, someone take my child. So that God became known as Koi mm -hmm. uh, And recently, Brudge Foundation has fixed it up very nice. Otherwise, it's very much in disrepair. Mm -hmm. Suddenly Krishna put his foot out of the basket and touched the Jamuna and she came down ankle deep. She wasn't rising from the rainwater, she was rising from the desire to touch the lotus feet of the Lord. And Basudev carried Basudev to Nanda Maharaja's palace. In the dark he didn't see 
that Basudev merged with the original Brajinda Nandan Shamsundar who was already there. You'll see in Krishna book, Prabhupada explains that when Brajinda Nandan Shamsundar Krishna appears, uh, then all the avatars and expansions of the Lord merge within the body. So Basudev merged within the body of Brajinda Nandan Shamsundar and he took that baby girl back to Mathura. Meanwhile, in the morning, uh, the peacocks began to cry. The nurse woke up. She realized, oh my goodness, I spent the whole night. Uh, I left Mother Yasoda alone. What happened? And she immediately, she ran to the maternity room. Hmm? She threw open the door and she saw lying next to Mother Yasoda like a lump of blue musk, this beautiful blackish boy with so beautiful features and little black pet, glotus petal eyes and tiny little feet with tiny little toes and tiny little fingers and such curly hair. In fact, his finger is stuck in one of the curls in his hair. He's trying to get it out. He can't get it out. Huh? And then nurse, she just squealed with delight. And Mother Yasoda sat up and she grabbed that child. As she leaned over, that, uh, sh her shadow fell on that child. She saw some demon has come, and she just grabbed that child. Oh, leave my child, leave my child. Huh? And she realized no one was there. Huh? It was just her shadow. But she's so protective. Hmm? And she's feeling, oh, he's so soft like butter, and so sweet and so beautiful. Tiny little fingers and toes and beautiful eyes, and like lotus pe looming lotus petals, so wonderful. Hmm? Meanwhile, the nurse she ran to the goshala, where Nanda Maharaj and all the cowherd men were uh, milking the cows. And she came there, and she opened her mouth like she's going to make an announcement. And she opened her mouth, and no sound came out. And all the cowherd men, they stood up and said, you sort of had child. And she shook her head. Huh? A son. Then she shook her head. And everyone was totally amazed. Then Nanda Baba, he began to get worried. He said, oh, now we have to decorate the cows with gold ornaments to give charity. And we have to make a feast. And we have to arrange this. And we have to arrange that. And his brother said, look, huh? you go see your child. We'll arrange everything. Why are we here? Because hmm? in our old system, the whole family lived together and we helped one another like that. And I took care of each other's needs and necessities. Huh? So we're all here. We'll take care of everything. You go see your child. When Nanda Maharaj, his feet weren't even touching the ground. He was just swimming in the ocean of transcendental bliss. He got to the maternity room. He opened the door. He came inside, but Mother Rohini has got there first, and she has a curtain pulled across like this. And her hand is out. Bakshish. You want darshan? You have to give bakshish. Hmm? So, uh, just like nowadays, in that temple there in Gokul that we talked about, as soon as you come, oh, these guys came from Bombay. They got a lot of money. Hmm? They shut the curtain. All right, you give donation, you get darshan. Uh, it is still going on. <laughs> this is 5,000 years. Uh, so Nanda Maharaj, very happily, he took the golden locket from his neck. He gave it to Mother Rohini. And Mother Rohini pulled back that curtain. And Nanda Maharaj saw this beautiful blackish boy in the lap of Mother Yasoda. Just like a uh, monsoon cloud. Uh, beautiful per perfect lotus petal eyes, curly black hair, tiny little toes and feet and tiny little fingers and hands. His finger is still stuck in a curl. He's trying to get it out. Huh? And Nanda Maharaj was in bliss. Then Nanda Maharaj, hmm, he broke open his treasure house. Huh? And he began to give charity. Huh? He just broke open the treasure house. He gave so much charity. He gave so, thousands and thousands of cows decorated with gold. He gave so much charity. He gave so much charity. He gave so much charity 
that those who were receiving were feeling, we can't receive so much charity. Hmm? So, did we ever get experience like that? We never did. It's Jamastami time. We go to our best donor to collect donations. Hmm? We know he's going to give a nice donation. Uh, he puts the check inside his envelope and seals it. We take it back to the temple. We pull out the check and we look. Hmm. Seems like one or two zeros are missing here. Hmm. Huh. And uh, the donor also, he's in trouble. He's also thinking, oh, the, the tax people raided me last month. And next month is this balloon payment. It's Krishna's birthday. I should give a donation. What can I do? But Nanda Maharaj opened heartedly. He broke open his treasury house. He gave so much charity. He gave so much charity that those who were receiving were thinking, how can we receive so much charity? We never got experience like that. Huh? But this is Braj, this is a magical place. Things like this can happen. And all the Brishvazis heard and they all came there. And they saw uh, that beautiful child of Nanda Maharaj. And they were all very happy. And they all began to sing and dance. Nanda gara, Nanda bayo jai kaniya lalaki. Nanda gara, Nanda bayo jai kaniya lalaki. Gara means home. In Nanda Maharaj's home, he's saying bayo, oh brothers. Uh, uh, we know bai means brother, but... This is evocative sense. O oh, brothers, and it's plural, so O oh, Bayo, Nandagara Nandabayo, Jai Kaneyalal. There's Anand, there's bliss in Nanda Maharaj's home today. His little Kaneyalal has been born. Nandagara Nandabayo, Jai Kaneyalal. Nandagara Nandabayo, Jai Kaneyalal. Jai Kaneyalal. Jai Kaneyalal. Jai Kaniya Lalaki, Jai Kaniya Lalaki, Nanda Gara Nanda Bayo Jai Kaniya Lalaki, Nanda Gara Nanda Bayo Jai Kaniya Lalaki, 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 Nanda Gara Nanda Bayo Jai Kaniya Lalaki. Nanda gara nanda bayo jai kaniya lalaki Nanda gara nanda bayo jai kaniya lalaki Nanda gara nanda bayo jai kaniya lalaki Hati dini gora dini or dini palki Hati dini gora dini or dini palki Nanda Maharaj is in bliss, he's giving charity so he gave Hati, just like you know Hastinapur. Hati means elephant. So he gave elephants. Hmm? When he ran out of elephants, Gora, Gora means horse. He gave horses. Hati Dini Gora Dini or Dini Palki. When he ran out of horse and elephant, he gave Palki, Palakin. Hmm? Hati Dini Gora Dini or Dini Palki. 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 Nanda gara nanda bayo jai kaniya lalaki. Nanda gara nanda bayo jai kaniya lalaki. Jai kaniya lalaki. Jai kaniya lalaki. Jai Kaniya Lalaki, Jai Kaniya Lalaki, Nanda Gara Nanda Bayo Jai Kaniya Lalaki, Nanda Gara Nanda Bayo Jai Kaniya Lalaki, Hati Dini Gora Dini or Dini Palki, Hati Dini Gora Dini or Dini Palki, Hati Dini Gora Dini or Dini Palki, Hati Dini Gora Dini or Dini Palki. Nanda gara nanda bayo jai kaniya lalaki Nanda gara nanda bayo jai kaniya lalaki 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 
जय कनिया लाल की जय कनिया लाल की नंद गारा नंद भयो जय कनिया लाल की नंद गारा नंद भयो जय कनिया लाल की जवान इनको हत्ती गोरे बूढ़े इनको पाल की जवान इनको हत्ती गोरे बूढ़े इनको पाल की जवान ऑलमोस्ट लाइक इंग्लिश यंग टू द यंग पीपल ही गेव हॉर्स एंड एलिफेंट Buddha Buddha means an old person walking with three feet now. We start out with four, we go to two, then we end up with three. Hmm? Buddha and Ko Palki to the old people he gave Palakan. Huh? Jawan and Ko Hati Gore Buddha and Ko Palki. Jawan and Ko Hati Gore Buddha and Ko Palki. Jawan and Ko Hati Gore Buddha and Ko Palki. Jawan and Ko Hati Gore Buddha and Ko ओ नंद गार नंद भयो जय कनिया लाल की नंद गार नंद भयो जय कनिया लाल की नंद गार नंद भयो जय कनिया लाल की नंद गार नंद जय कनिया लाल की 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 जय कनिया ओ नंद गार नंद भयो जय कनिया लाल की नंद गार नंद भयो जय कनिया लाल हाथी दीनी गोरा दीनी और दीनी पाल की 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 नंद गार नंद भयो जय कनिया लाल की नंद गार नंद भयो जय कनिया लाल जय कनिया लाल की जय कनिया लाल की जय कनिया लाल की जय कनिया लाल नंद गार नंद भयो जय कनिया लाल की नंद गार नंद भयो जय कनिया लाल की जवान इनको हाथी गोरे बूढ़े इनको पाल की जवान इनको हाथी गोरे जवान इनको हाथी गोरे बूढ़े इनको पाल की जवान इनको हाथी गोरे बूढ़े इनको ओ नंद गार नंद भयो जय कनिया लाल की 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 ओ नंद के लाल की जय कृष्ण कनिया लाल की जय नंद बाबा की जय इन दिस वे द विश्वास ही सेलिब्रेटेड the first jamastami and this is the original jamastami song i sang this song one time in los angeles at midnight and everybody was crying everybody was going nuts in brindavan i used to sing this song at midnight and crowd would go completely mad so this is the original jamastami song and this is the way the bishwasi celebrated the original jamastami so we thank you very much We hope we've been of some service to you. Again, we're going to take a break and study some more, and we'll be back with you. How many are there? Hundred. Hundred of you there. All right. Very nice. So, Maybe this uh, is. Narutam again wrote Facebook is going mad. <laughs> okay, Narutam also wrote that Facebook is going mad. So anyway, we'll put our voice to rest here. and we'll all fall down to the very soft and wonderful lotus feet of that great personality who's given us uh this wonderful Jamastami festival to celebrate Srila Prabhupada ki jai